Jeff Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with thieves stealing thousands of dollars in emergency gear from a cert trailer in Goleta. And News Channel reporter John Palmentary joins us live. John, the supplies were for a community training program. We're right behind the Goleta Community Center where the trailer that was broken into is parked. And while the Sheriff's Department is looking for those who are responsible for this crime, there's a call out to the community to help come up with some funds or replacement items to fill in what was taken. A trailer used for emergency training in Santa Barbara County has been broken into, ransacked, and many items are now missing. It is used for the Community Emergency Response Training, or CERT, instructors to prepare community members to be responders in a crisis. This is how we train our community to be prepared, you know, and if we can't do that, then where does that leave us? Yeah. But it is very heartbreaking because we look to this trailer for everything. The idea of the CERT program is to train you to take care of your family and your immediate neighborhood. The trailer was stocked with gear used in a cooperative way between Goleta, UC Santa Barbara, Carpinteria, and the Food Bank of Santa Barbara County, which trained staff and volunteers to activate in a disaster. Absolutely. I mean, without this trailer, I mean, the Food Bank wouldn't have been able to graduate 125 people in this program. The trailer was parked in the back lot at the Goleta Community Center, and the break-in was discovered April 11th. From what we're told, whoever got into this trailer was able to get between the trailer and a fence, then cut this lock and have access to this door latch. Some of the bigger items they took, they took all the pry bars out of there, they took a couple shovels, a generator, a easy up canopy, um, they took lights, extension cords, took radios out of there, yeah. they, they took a baby dummy out, I don't, don't know why. The total loss of supplies is estimated at about $4,300. And while training sessions can still take place, it will not be with all the necessary equipment for now. We're not completely out of business. I mean, there's still the minimum supplies we can do with some training. It's just the extra stuff that we had in there that enhanced the program. The CERT leaders are hoping the public can help them replenish the emergency trailer and donations can be made to the Food Bank of Santa Barbara County. They want to be fully stocked again soon before the next urgent need. You just never know when, and, and having supplies is one of the best things that you can do to be prepared. Part of our disaster initiative for the food bank is to be training, and this is a huge loss. The CERT program has, over the years, qualified hundreds of people in Santa Barbara County to be ready to respond in their neighborhoods, their mobile home parks, their condo associations, just in general in a disaster. It's a strong program for emergencies and disasters, of which we have many of them, and they're hoping to continue it. They need more supplies to fill this up and get back on track later on this year. Reporting live in Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, it's time now for a first check on the weather with our chief forecaster, Annika Abbott. You can see the Trump